Welcome back to the horrible hair salon of science. Wait, no. Um, so I forgot a video. Wife was watching the videos that I uploaded earlier. And yeah. Time traveling because I'm embarrassed. That would be on the list of shit I can't do. For reasons stated in the video before. Yeah. Oh. Um, so. The video was about time travel. Just wanted to. Uh, state the obvious. Thing. Before I got started. Quantum theoretical proof of God in the book of Revelation. Okay. So, what if one were to attempt to apply the Occam's Razor approach to hypothesizing the most likely probable cause for multiple alternate realities existing. Now, alternate realities have been proven to exist, supposedly, um, in the way that I was just thinking, I'm saying supposedly. But you could kind of through experience if you know anybody who's had such experiences learn through witness that there's something else going on that's more than meets the eye <laughs> plain and simple okay so what Occam's razor principle causes alternate realities to form. Well, that's time travel, isn't it? If somebody travels in time backward, they change something. Divergent realities occur. For every possibility, if a different choice is made, reality should diverge. That's one of the highly favored quantum theoretical models. Okay. Um, but you see, there is one problem with this theory that is also discussed within, you know, purely atheistic quantum theory. The idea of multiple travelers and the problem of ultimate absolute entropy. You see, if you have more than one time traveler, when that person travels back in time and another person travels back in time, or somebody else and another person and another person travels back in time, you have infinite possible realities, also known as the New Age Movement. Oh, wait, that's just science, right? Oh, yeah, it's just science. If you have one traveler, the only person that can travel in time, regardless of whether or not we're talking about Jesus here, as mentioned in the book of Revelation. If anybody studied the book of Revelation, you probably at least heard about the whole time travel theory regarding what's going on there. Okay. But see, just according to a quantum model, one traveler, if you apply the existence of consciousness as being manifestorily crucial to whether or not entropy occurs, which if you take 
all of quantum theory into effect, we're still on Occam's razor here. One traveler goes back in time, changes reality. That reality is the only reality that's changed. So you don't have a problem. There's just one consistent reality. It can be changed. Everybody changes with it. They have no idea anything's changed whenever it changes. Well, that's why Christ, being the one time traveler mentioned in the Bible, was a monotheist. See, like I said, anyone who studied the, back to the notes, anyone who studied the revelation code or any detailed any detailed Bible study held by a competent minister. Um, I, I happen to enjoy a Bible study that was held by a lawyer, so you know that was pretty uh thorough. Um, went from playing in the band at one church to rushing over to another church just for this Bible study every Sunday. Oh yeah. But if you been in that Bible study, or if you, you know, I would talk, talk, talk to a pastor, ask him about Jesus time traveling in revelation and he'll at least say it's possible. Okay. And he might even know what scriptures that's based upon. I'm not good at giving you numbers, but let's take a break from just, you know, the pure likelihood of how this quantum theory might relate to Jesus in the book of Revelation, and see if any observations help us find things to prove or disprove this single travel th traveler theory as being the case. If it is, then there should be evidence, right? What kind of evidence would that be? Well, we don't have absolute in entropy. We don't seem to have infinite realities constantly overlapping with each other. Well, why would they be overlapping? Well, we see realities overlapping with our own. And they're far from identical. So one could assume that a reality that was closer to, say, the one where the weird UFO shit and weird goblin creatures and shit appear from that people talk about, one would, one would assume that if those realities can bleed over into this reality, then realities more similar to them should be bleeding over all the time, right? So what we have here is at least evidence of a finite number of realities through all metaphysical observation, to be fair. Are we still on Occam's razor, do you think? And don't don't tell me you're not because you don't know enough about one of the individual things I've just mentioned. Go look it up. We're on Occam's razor here. We have at least narrowed this down to from time travel being the most likely cause of alternate realities to 
most likely alternate realities do exist. So, somebody had to have at some point traveled through time. And, because there does not seem to be an infinitesimal number of realities, You can kind of see evidence that there was no technological solution, at least, to time travel. Okay, so we're still on Occam's Razor. And we're at ruling out any possibility of a technological solution to time travel. Based on simple observation, of reality and reported metaphysical encounters and occurrences. Phenomena, if you will. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> so, I got to this point where I was supposed to list these things that I'm trying to think of right now. I did not list them. So, if I'm going to actually try to think of them in real time, I at least need a cigarette in my coffee. Hold on. Got my coffee. I officially name this the metaphorical thinking cap of science. That is a ridiculous head. I, I don't know. I don't know. I blame all the fights I got in. Star tissue and whatnot. Man, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So I did have an idea as I was sitting down. Let me close the door and watch some bleach in there. And... Oh, I guess I could have hit pause. Did y'all get a nice view of my little 32-inch TV back there? Anyways. So, where can we go? And we're probably still only working above, maybe generously, about an 80% likelihood. Just on Occam's razor alone. Yeah, I mean, just shit that's unaccounted for in general. Shit that I'm not thinking of. Shit you're free to mention if you can't. I think I had a better reason for that statistic, but I forgot it, so I'm moving on. <laughs> what you have to do from this point where you have a discrepancy between possible multiple travelers who are innately capable because there's no technological solution and one traveler having made these other realities it gets a little complicated and i, I want to say unfortunately you have to look at written human history. You know how painful that can be. So what do you have largely in written human history? Atheism is an invention of the Cold War. Period. Rule that out. You have two distinct types of cultures in ancient societies that have carried all the way through to this day. You have the pagan polytheists and you have the monotheists, also known as the Hebrews. Well, most 
polytheistic religion. I have no mention of time travel. There is nothing in their texts that can be interpreted as time travel. None. Whatsoever. But let's just hypothesize on some commonly known polytheistic possibilities, shall we? Say there was some sort of an ancient battle between beings of power or skill or abilities that we don't really believe in anymore. They would have to be the ones we're talking about because we're talking about fucking time travel, aren't we? Hypothetical conversation here. Hypothetical conversation. With a tiny box with lights flashing at me. Hey, you're the one watching this shit. Oh, okay. Well, if multiple entities of sorts, of this sort, are the case, what we do have evidence of in all of these theologies is that these entities were at war with each other. So what you would have if one of these entities' special abilities was time travel, wouldn't they have weaponized such an ability? How could they resist? It's fucking time travel, isn't it? Oh, I could just erase my enemy from existence. Well, show me that. Show me something where there's even the slightest possibility that that's happened. I mean, somebody's erased a lot of my hair from existence, but nobody's got any kind of tales about ancient beings that weaponize time travel. None that weren't faked by Satanists. Hmm. So, I think we've narrowed it down to two. Because we can ignore the forgeries and the plagiarism. Let's cut right to the chase, shall we? One group is commanded to speak the truth. Let their yeses mean yes and their noes mean no. The other group is commanded that the more deceitful they are, the more cunning they are, and the better men they are having proven their worth. Yeah, I'm pretty much just guessing. I wouldn't let a quote attach it to myself. So, we were getting down to 50-50. Then I asked your heart a question. And the odds went back up. You got one father of lies saying Adam wasn't Adam, the flood wasn't the flood. And you got another that's almost 2,000 years old. People have been trying to poke holes in for centuries and centuries. 
and all they've been able to do, all they've been able to do to that effect was deceive people into believing that Cheddar was Swiss. Yeah, I just used the cheese metaphor. I can be cheesy if I want to. So where are we at now? Have we have we done Occam's razor? And the existence of multiple dimension proving that not only God exists, but that he is the Christian God. Go read your Bible, folks. Even the things you don't like about it are stories that you need to know. No one ever claimed that there was nothing but nice things in there. Stop being a little child. And show up for the fucking exam. Well, my cigarette has gone out. This is the first time I've actually managed to get these. I noticed that this notepad was small enough to stay up here, so I was actually able to look down right here. In my previous video, I know somebody was thinking I was reading when I said that I wasn't reading. Ashtray. Actually, it's a little jewelry thing, but use it as an ashtray. There's not enough space for a notepad right there. See? Yeah, I need to clean that. Ashes. That's what happens when you have a little tiny jewelry thing as an ashtray that is an ashtray. This video is over. I'm going to hit stop now. Like, subscribe if you thought that theory was brilliant, no matter how horrible this exit is.